Hi, Josh Sinners here. Let's say you've just got one of these uh, newfangled iPhones, like the iPhone 10, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10S, iPhone 10S Max, and you're wondering how the heck do I work this thing? It's totally different than what I am used to. Well, let's start by taking a look at the lock screen. First thing you're going to notice, instead of having to press a home button, you can just tap the screen to light it up. Now, if you want to access the control center, you're probably used to swiping from up here. But what that's going to do on this particular style of phone is it's uh, actually going to work like the home button. So what you do instead is you swipe down from up here. Now I call these uh, notches on either side uh, the ears. So you swipe down the right ear. That's just my little term to make things clear. So here's control center. You just tap out of the way. Now if you want to see your notifications, uh, typically you will swipe down from here. But what you're going to do instead on the iPhone uh, 10 models is you're going to uh, swipe here in this blank spot swipe up and that's going to bring up notification center now from here uh, you can tap one of these stacks and uh, with a face ID there it uh, unlocks and it shows me what the actual notifications are now I can tap show less to restack them tap that again to branch it out I can tap this X here to clear these out, or I can even um, press in on this up here. I can clear all notifications. I don't want to do that right now. Now, the only way to get out of to get rid of notification center is to lock it again using this button on the side. I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but this big button on the side is your sleep wake button. You're probably used to it being up here on top on the iPhone 10. It's here on the side. And then finally, uh, something I want to show you on the lock screen, these two buttons down here. This one activates the flashlight, and this one activates the camera. Now, you can't just tap these. Tapping does nothing. You have to actually press in on, on them. Pretend that they're actual buttons. So just press in. Woo, look at all that light. Press in again, and it's off. Oop, pressed a little too hard. So there you have it. That is the lock screen on the iPhone 10. Hey, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and consider going to TakeControlBooks.com and checking out my book, Take Control of iOS 12. Uh, 1499, 188 pages, lots of useful tips and information here for uh, any level of iOS user. Especially consider this if uh, you're getting a new iPhone or iPad for yourself or a family member over the holidays. You're bound to learn something you did not know before. Thanks for watching.